Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Eric Anders versus Kyle Dawkins. Eric Anders, ya boy, 14 wins, 7 losses. He's 1, 3, and 1 in his last 5 fights. Plus 160 underdog, 35 years old, stands 6 foot 1 with a 75 inch reach. Chris, Kyle Dawkins, I almost said Chris, Kyle Dawkins, brother, younger brother of Chris Dawkins. Uh, he's also 2-2-1, two, two, one, minus 200 favorite, 29 years old, 6'3", with 76 inch reach. So 2 inches in height and 1 inch in reach for Kyle Dawkins. The thing about this for me is I think Kyle Dawkins can do more on the outside. I think he'll be more well-rounded, like kicks, body kicks, punches and stuff, teeps and stuff like that. If Eric Anders can make it a... Uh, boxing match. I like I like Eric Anders. I like his power. I like his speed. And also, I like that he'll put Kyle Dawkins against the cage and he'll you know do some dirty boxing, beat him up a little bit. Um, but Eric Anders has to get inside and he has to be urgent. Two fight losing streak. And he's 35 years old. Can't really afford to lose this one. Even though I did think he won his last one, still doesn't mean anything because he has to win this one. Um, I like Eric Anders in this as long as he get inside and let his hands go. He hasn't really been let his hands go. His last win was a, a decision against Darren Stewart. Before that, did, didn't look that great in that fight. But, but before that, Darren Stewart, the uh, illegal knee or whatever, before the illegal knee, he was going off on Darren Stewart. And, and uh, yeah. So I like Eric Anders. I like think his power. I think his power, and I think he's gonna be the stronger fighter in there. I have Eric Anders winning this fight. And as always, guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. You guys know what it is. Peace.